The model fighter in this war of civility was the People's Liberation Army soldier, Lei Fong. After his accidental death in 1962, tales of his humble good deeds were turned into a legend featured in countless images, songs, and in a feature film. The inspiration for his everyday heroism came from being a diligent student of Mao Zedong thought. The selected works of Mao were being distributed throughout the armed forces on orders from Lin Biao, the Minister of Defense. Before the 10th grade, we were allowed to read all kinds of Western books. But later on, all those books were denounced. In essence, the campaign to learn from Lei Feng was read Chairman Mao's books, obey Chairman Mao's words, be Chairman Mao's good soldier. It meant you had to be loyal to an individual, not your revolutionary ideals. This contradicted the spirit of the Western books I'd read. Although the Gadfly and Jean Christophe were the kinds of books that really meant something to us, the pressure to conform was overwhelming. So-called thought reform is a process that gradually takes away your ability to think independently. Your own true thoughts and feelings have to be constantly repudiated. For example, Adventure in the Bandit's Den is a movie about a People's Liberation Army undercover agent.